all right guys so fuller coming to you with another video shout out to the whole ldbc so in this video man i want to kind of touch on some uh, uh, incident that happened basically and that kind of like really connected the dots now i'm not as i said i don't care about subscribers i just do this for a hobby you know a lot of people have been coming to my page and saying oh you talk about this issue because you need subscribers you talk about this issue because you're clout chasing this that and the other if that was the case my whole page would be devoted to it but as you see i would say more than half of the time my page is devoted to what my name stands for and that's sports but i do touch on social issues as well from time to time this is definitely a social issue what i'm about to touch upon now, when I went to my uh, local African market and I picked up my usual clothing and things of that nature, an elderly gentleman pulled me to the side and he said, you know, it's just elder intuition. Like, they just know something is up. They, they, they know. You know, like, you may not think they know, but they do. He pulled me to the side, and he said, and he knew what tribe I was from. And he started speaking in our dialect. So I was, like, really taken back and surprised by this. But we get into this field and he's like, he's like, I know something that is going to make sense of what, what you're looking at right now. And so I'm thinking to myself, like, well, you know, what am I looking at? What am I like, what does he mean by that? You know? So, what he said is, I have something for you. So mind you, the store owner, you know, he's cool, calm, collected, and talking to the other guys in the store, and he just gave a thumbs up, you know, like when he, when this elder, like, sit me down, he gave me a thumbs up. And so, this elder revealed the manuscript. It's an old manuscript. And the funny thing about it is, I knew about this manuscript, you know. He, um, he, he photocopied it, you know. He kind of like photocopied it, made a copy of the original. And, proceeded to read an excerpt from it. And in that excerpt, I kid you not, after he read the excerpt, I got blue at the face. I became blue at the face, I kid you not. I almost fainted. In fact, I disrespected him and I said, stop lying, stop reading what you're reading. You're just reading bullshit. And I disrespected him. But he was a, he, he 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 calmed me down basically because I didn't believe he was reading it at first and then I saw it with my own eyes and it was the case. So in this manuscript, it said a time will come well there where there and this is coming from a scholar in. Um, this is coming from a scholar, I want to say, in the, um, I guess the late 
18th, early 19th century who wrote this manuscript. And I'm just kind of going to try to uh, summarize what was read to me, you know. In this manuscript, the scholar said a time will come where there will be um, many false messiahs. And he gave a characteristic, he gave characteristics of some of the false messiahs. One, and I'm going to give you a couple of those characteristics. One of the characteristics that stood out like a sore thumb, he said the messiah, the false messiah, would be with a group of men spreading feces around the earth. And I'm thinking to myself, I'm thinking long and hard that Nature Boy's followers, they don't believe in toilets. They believe in shitting on the ground. In fact, there was one live video in which he shitted on the ground and tried to grow watermelons from it. And there were other there are other people who follow him who may not be over there that shit on the ground over here. I was like, when I heard my elder read this, I'm like, what the hell? I said to myself, like, this can't be true. I'm like, no, you're lying. You know, I just said, stop lying to me. You know, and he had to just kind of shake me to calm me down. You know, the elder just said, you know, calm down, just relax, let me finish. So, another characteristic of like these false messiahs will be that they wear elaborate fabric on their head. I can't make this shit up. I really cannot make this shit up, okay? What do you see him doing now? What do they what do you see their them doing on their lives right now since they cut their hair? They've been wearing fabrics on their heads. A lot of the time. Another characteristic that was given of the false messiahs is that they would have a white patch on their forehead and I'm thinking to myself no damn way no way this is true when you look at nature boy he has discolorment in the skin and he has patches on his forehead I'm like, get the hell out of here. What the hell is this? And I'm like, God, geez, this is unbelievable. You know, this is really unbelievable. So then I just told the elder, you know, just keep on reading. Just keep on reading. Another characteristic that was telling, and this is a deep, there's a deeper meaning, there's a twofold meaning to this characteristic. The false messiahs will have only one eye working and will be blind in one other eye. And that other eye that they're talking about it's deeper insight, it's spiritual insight. Basically that they would be blind in that eye. But also there would be a physical deficiency in their eye too. And I'm not gonna lie, Nature Boy is cross-sided and crooked eyes. Only one eye is aligned with, it has the proper alignment. 
first y'all I was like damn it. this is unbelievable another sign that was given about the far messiah is that they would be funny looking they would be funny looking like they would look like weird strange looking I mean, I, I don't, like, I just call him Spade of Spades, but, like, he's an ugly-ass nigga. Like, he's ugly. And he's funny-looking. I mean, his mouth is all, it's like his mouth is all weird and, like, it's just not a good look. You know, he doesn't look like a regular, a regular individual who's a sound mind, body, and soul. He doesn't look that way at all. Then another thing stood out to me about it. He will make face, he will make faceless things seem very, very good. So he'll take something that's regular and make it seem extraordinary. And this is what he does with food. He makes regular food that you can buy at a market seem extraordinary. And that's just one of the things. Another thing that he'll do too is he'll be the ultimate deceiver. He will claim that he is the Messiah. He will claim these things. To make it, to take it a step further. And this is using allegorical, uh, allegorical uh, meaning. The, the, false, the false Messiahs will have one hand that rec represents paradise, the other hand will represent hell, and in reality, the paradise is, the, is hell because he's a deceiver, and the hell is actually paradise. So what do we see? He presents this image of living in nature, living in tune with nature, being one, being off the grid, this, that, and the other, but it is really hell. Because when you look at the people there, at that camp, they do not look natural. They do not look healthy. They do not look like they're in harmony with their environment. Whereas where I am, as I'm driving and uh, passing by all these industrial buildings, passing by this oil refinery, it may look like hell to the unseen eye. But I can assure you something. I look and am healthy. I look, I'm, I'm of sound mind and a sound body even in quote-unquote Babylon. And many people surrounding me are too. Now, another thing. The false messiah, one of the characteristics of the false messiah is his followers will be mean and arrogant. see this every day unfolding on the lives. I see it every day unfolding on my comment section when I do decide to make videos about this guy. And that's just the facts. I have not known one of their followers, not one single follower of his to be friendly or to be humble or to even be down to earth and a balanced individual. They've always been mean. They've always had a short temper. 
and they've always disliked being corrected or being given a different perspective on a matter. Now, another thing. The elder said that even those of sincerity and those of insight who are literate or illiterate will be able to tell that this guy's an imposter or these people will be imposters, but those uh, who don't have insight, those who aren't sincere, will not be able to tell that he is an imposter. And we see that manifesting itself every single time when he has a lie with people. And the people with insight are usually the ones who get blocked are usually the ones who have to make different pages to come on. Are you usually the ones of a sound judgment who know what is what. The ones who don't have that are the ones who constantly stroke his ego. Are the ones who basically encourage him to do the things that he's doing right now. And are the ones who come on this page and troll themselves. Who come on this page and say what they say about me, although I do not care. I'm just mentioning it to relate to the point. Another characteristic. He will claim, or I should say they, they will claim to be able to work miracles of different sorts. They will claim that they are able to manifest things, but are not really able to in reality. And we see this. He has claimed to be able to heal people of diseases. He has claimed that all diseases are mental. When in reality they're not. Because people in his camp have died. Two people have died from diseases. So that's another sign. And then, one of the biggest signs is, this is one of the biggest. They will falsify original information that was given. They will falsify things that were originally meant to be pure, originally meant to bring the best out of people, originally meant to help people. What do we see him do? What do we see him do on a daily basis? That includes things with polygamy. That, in, that includes intake when it comes to diets. That includes the whole concept of marriage. That includes the whole concept of sexual relations. So what I'm getting at is when this elder was reading these things, Basically, he fit the description to a T. That if there was a missing piece of the puzzle, and this manuscript was the uh, was the whole puzzle, he would be the missing piece. 
And so I go on to say this to say that I'm not, again, I've said it in all of my lives, in all, or all of my videos, in all of every single video I've done on this topic. I'm not looking for a follower, okay? I don't need a follower. In fact, I'm more comfortable being by, my, by myself and working on and working on inheriting what was um, given to me by my forefathers and is now just being unearthed to me due to circumstances that we're going through right now in this day and age that we're living in. The thing is, is this. He is a master deceiver because now he's deceiving people into thinking that he has kicked two women out, the, out of his little cult and that they need a means to actually, they need a means now to uh, get back and reunite with their families. When in reality, and mind you, I'm not the type of guy that really puts a lot of energy into watching their lives and watching everything. Shout out to Pretty Brown Girl for you. Shout out to Shante Maria. And shout out to the team who gives you the information, basically, without you having to, like, go on the pages and watch his live. Shout out to uh, those three. But from what it looks like, one of the people left with the band. Therefore, their means of transportation is gone. Therefore, their means to uh, get uh, the food from the local market uh, is gone. So I expect, I, I suspect that these girls are being used for clickbait in order to, um, uh, you know, uh, scam up some donations. That's what I think in my heart of hearts. And that they'll be back inside that camp very soon. And then the other final characteristic I want to give about uh, the, um, the, the false messiah or the antichrist. Yeah, again, there's more than one, you know. In fact, in African eschological uh, prophecy that I follow, they said that there will be many false messiahs. So I think he's one in the line of those false messiahs. One of the characteristics was that he would be fat and big, uh, big bone, basically. Like very, and and I'm sorry to say it, but we do see it with him. He pot them, you know, and now he has mantis from what it looks like. Another thing about it, about the false messiahs, is that they will walk funny. And I'm sorry to say he does walk funny. He walks like he has to stick up his ass, basically. But I just thought I would share this video from my experience, you know, and that, you know, he fits the description to like a very, very much solid teeth. And I, I'm still in shock and awe that this manuscript came up and I can do nothing but take heed and believe it because of the simple fact it was written by someone who was learning, you know. It was written by a very learned man. And I can't really like speak on like something, someone else's thing when they've already pretty much set the way or paved the way. You know, the ink is dry basically. So with that being said, I'm going to sign out and off to the next one. Leave your thoughts, leave your comments. We'll be signing out. Enjoy. Also, one thing that the false messiah will claim, he'll, he will claim that he is God. He will claim that he is Lord. He will claim that he is the, um, the 
until born in the sustainer of this world. That's the one thing. That's one of the major signs of uh, the fake uh, messiahs. They'll all claim that they're, they're God. Yeah.